Welcome to the AW Services YouTube channel. A video based on laptops. If by any means you have a Lenovo laptop, I have the Lenovo Legion 5. I spent an awful lot of money on it. I've never really spent any more than 200 quid on a laptop. But when I was doing um, high end laser displays, I wanted a laptop that's got fast acceleration. So this is a gaming spec laptop. I think I paid over a thousand pound for it at Kerry's. And the reason why I bought it as well, because it had an illuminated keyboard, which makes, makes working in low light a lot easier because you can navigate around the keys. You can see where they are and it also looks quite nice as well. But I had a bit of a meltdown just now because my keyboard stopped working. I um, didn't really panic panic, but you know, I thought, you know, I spent a lot of money on this and it'd be nice to have it working because it's there. So to get the keyboard to work normally, you press and hold the function key, FN, and the space bar because the space bar tells you that it's an illuminated keyboard because of the light lamp pattern on there. My laptop being that it's the Legion 5 isn't the RGB version. Mine is standard white off level one, level two. So for the purposes of demonstration, that's off. Setting one, setting two, so dim and bright. I turn the laptop on to do some work on there and all of a sudden the lighting didn't work. So I went into Lenovo Vantage, which is the control surface for this laptop. Tells you all about the CPU and its power and how much RAM it's got and how fast it's meant to be, blah, 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 blah. Um, and in this, it was telling me, I went, scrolled down and I looked around until I found the keyboard settings which I believe, I'll try to find where it was, um, it's somewhere on here, but it didn't really tell me anything other than keyboard on and off. So I did a bit of a Google search and they were talking about that setting as well, trying to find it in here, uh, like dynamic lighting, but it wasn't saying, yes, you've got a problem or not. It just told you how to turn it off. So. I did a Google search, found a few videos. Um, most of them were absolutely useless because they were just talking about the color and how to set the different profiles for the RGB keyboard. So I spent quite a bit of time Google searching. To get the keyboard to work, I did what was called a power drain. So on this model, that it, being that it has a built-in battery, it's not a battery that you can take out and remove. What you have to do is remove the power supply cable. So that's the lead at the back of the laptop, which goes to the transformer that powers it. Remove that, press and hold the power button for 10 seconds until the laptop turns off. Then plug back in the power supply and turn the laptop on. And it's like it rebooted it and told it to work again. But I thought I'd share that because you may have a laptop exactly the same and you may start to think that it's not working and you start to panic because it's a lot of money for a laptop. But if you've got that problem, that is how you solve it. I'm glad that I found that. I thought I'd share that piece of information with you because YouTube is all about sharing and parting with information, whether it be entertainment or factual knowledge. I'm Austin, you've watched AW Services. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe, support the channel, help it grow, press the bell icon for notifications, and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.